next generation medical devices um, are devices that actually use new technologies that are being developed, say, in physics, in, in engineering, uh, in chemistry, uh, that allow us a more exquisite control over matter. The Next Generation Medical Devices team strives to develop technologies or new devices that will solve current unmet clinical needs. Medical devices are used to either uh, replace or repair uh, damaged tissues or organs in the body. Um, so examples that people might have heard of are uh, say a hip implant or a knee implant whereby a patient who has uh, damaged cartilage on the bones in their joints uh, suffers a lot of pain and the hip or the knee is replaced with a metallic implant to restore uh, some level of function and reduce pain in the joint. At the moment, it's joint replacement, but if we could get cells to regenerate cartilage rather than having to chop out and replace the whole joint, um, that would be you know, a, a much preferable alternative. It will give us a less invasive way and a much more stable way of, of dealing with the issues. For example, osteoarthritis, a huge um, a, a societal issue. Diseases like arthritis are estimated to cost uh, approximately 1.6 billion to Ireland annually in terms of lost working hours. So any uh, new therapy that can reduce this, this problem will have a huge economic impact uh, to Ireland and globally. What we're trying to do is we're trying to add in coatings and surfaces that are essentially compatible with the body um, and also uh, allow us extra degrees of control. When the body actually interacts with a surface, say, you know, an artificial surface on a medical device, um, it will respond to certain cues in terms of the shape, the mechanical features, or the chemical features uh, of that surface. We're able to control the, those surfaces, shape them, if you will, pattern them in different ways, so that we can induce certain activities, cues, or biocompatibility, say, um, uh, you know, of those devices. I worked on a technology uh, known uh, as uh, the Functional Lumen Imaging Probe, which is a, a measurement device for measuring valves in the body. Uh, that was then picked up by a company in Galway, and the company in Galway developed it into a commercial product known as EndoFlip, uh, and they've, that's been used for a number of applications, particularly for measuring valve regions in the digestive tract, and I'm actually continuing research related to that. Uh, I have a number of PhD students working on different applications of the device and how it can be used to make new measurements in the body. As patients get over their heart valves tend to dysfunction, we can surgically repair one cohort of these patients. There's a second cohort of patients that will be unsuitable for surgery and the risk will be quite high to um, solve or heal these regurgitant heart valves. And here in Trinity College we're developing a new mitral valve device whereby we can crimp this device down into a very small tube and implant it in a minimally invasive way compared to open heart surgery. And this minimizes the trauma for the patient and repairs the uh, dysfunctional valve. We're at that stage now where we're testing the device in large animals and really proving the concept in a clinically relevant environment. It is unique here that we have close um, uh, collaboration. A strength of the field is that it's driven by clinical problems. So we're working with clinicians all the time. They're coming to us with a particular problem that current devices, our current surgical approaches aren't working. You have the patient benefit, but you also have the economic benefit where we're creating wealth within Ireland from this potential spin-out from Trinity College. What's unique about, about Trinity is that we have this new, this new Biomedical Science Institute and not only has that got great labs for us to work in, we're also sitting beside and working alongside our colleagues in, in biochemistry and immunology and medicine. And that's allowing us to, to compete at, a, at an international level and to be undertaking truly world-class research.